上第八十六場賽事，泰國對日本。Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Macau. It's the battle for fifth and sixth place here, the finals of the FIVB World Grand Prix. Macau, East Asian Games Dome. Macau is a fantastic city.
Well, we have been wonderfully hosted by the Macau Galaxy. And certainly this facility here, the East Asian Games Dome, is uh, one of the great sports areas and stadia in this region, I must say. It's got fantastic facilities, great uh, warm-up and training areas. And of course, the main space here, well supported this weekend by the Macau public, visitors and uh, obviously residents as well. It's Japan versus Thailand. What a mouth-watering match for all those enjoying the Asian style because that's what we're seeing. Japan, of course, with some great heroes already. Saori Kimura, number 12. Takashita, number 3. You've also got the likes of uh, Sakoda has come into the picture this uh, tournament that I've been very impressed with. But uh, no doubt at all that the Japanese will be hoping to get through in three here. But the Thai players, for the first time at this level, have been really impressing. They do not have the height. They do not have necessarily that extraordinary confidence at the net. But by golly, they really do know how to scramble. And they have been the thorn in the side of all the teams here. Vilavan at number 10, 12, uh, 10 rather, in particular, has been very, very impressive. Onuma, Onuma Sitirak at number six, has been uh, fantastic. Together with uh, Malika and Nutsara at 13, they have some really, really talented players. They are not the biggest in the world, and of course, that means that they are not going to compete necessarily at the highest level but this is a big big moment because if they can get to take fifth place in this tournament it will be a huge achievement can you imagine they beat china one day and japan the next wow that's the kind of thing that dreams are made of apologies for my voice it's a lot better than yesterday which doesn't say a lot but uh, we'll battle on we've got three more matches to come today and then the big two tomorrow for the medals. We're going to have the anthems in just a while. But, uh, the officials are preparing to get underway in just a couple of moments. It's a battle, really, of two very confident uh, coaches as well. Kiatapong, Rajatakrinkai for Thailand. He's been uh, an ace spiker and turned into a very good coach as well. Thailand volleyball, the women's team, been very, very impressive right the way back since 98. And they won the Asian Championships in in 2009 as well. So let's have the uh, let's have the national anthems then for Thailand and for Japan. Thai national anthem fits in nicely to the allotted time. The completion there. The more somber tones of the Japanese national anthem. But of course, uh, we've got the introductions now of the 
officials. Karin Zalchova from the Czech Republic and Zorica Jelic from Serbia. I think that's the first time I've seen two women matched up here. Call them the A-team, shall we? Make them feel good. They are good. They are really, really impressive. All the FIVB referees are put through a grilling, let me tell you. Japan then first to be introduced. Takashita. She is something special as the setter. Saori Kimura, everybody knows her. Erika Araki is the captain. Yoko Sano is the uh, libero. They have been very, very impressive. There's Manabe, third in the World Championships in Japan last year. This is a huge moment for Thailand. Their extraordinary victory over China by 3-1 yesterday was superb. Look out for Sitirak, number six, for Vilavan, 10. Lutzara, 13. The libero is Pianot. There is Kiatapong. Good atmosphere here in the East Asian Games Dome. Lots of uh, fanatical support for both of these teams. Michael Kano at the front of the net there, and it will be Saori Kumura who will start. There's Iraqi, the captain, dictating what goes on. There you go. Japan have been very, very impressive. They really scramble. They're very fast teams, these typical Asian teams. They scramble, they run after everything, they trace, chase everything down. So be prepared for some big... There's Nutsura. Be prepared for some uh, long rallies here, I think, or longer rallies than we've been used to. Saori Kimura, recently inducted into the FIVB Heroes. Takashita does well to chase that one down, sets it beautifully and converted nicely by Sakoda. You'll see a lot of that around the back of the setter, coming in off that right post as the opposite. One all. Ooh, it's a little bit too far, and that was out. So each other, the referee, assistant referee, was right there. Saw the ball was out off the net, no touch. It's 2-1 Japan. Oraki. Power play is good. Onoma Sitirak. Iraqi will take a break. Sitira will go to the line at 2 all. Well, we've already had one five setter. What do you reckon? Are we going to see another one? Ha ha. 
Well, what they lack in height and power, the ties make up for in guile. And that was clever. Three blockers and all three deceived. Three all. Ai Yamamoto was practicing the roof block. Takashita puts up a good one, but it's still in play. I told you to watch out. Oh, and that is an infringement. Double hit. 4-3. Oh, super. Well, Manabe was claiming that it was an unfair hit, but I tell you, it was a beautiful set. That was what set that up. I'm pawn now. Good blocking. Good blocking again, it's still there. Oh dear. Oh. Vilaban should have gone for that maybe. By four, Saori Sakoda. That was superb. And the other Saori comes in and takes the point. Another big hit this time from Yamamoto. Very experienced player is I Yamamoto. She finds a lovely gap there, well set, 7-4. Oh, wow, what an angle there from Tenkao. Tenkao was actually the top blocker third in the spikes playing against Serbia in the last match for Thailand. Oh, yes. You know, that's a very difficult shot from Villaban. Shoulder to the net. He gets that right arm round beautifully down the line. Oh, dear. First set, Japan leading, 8-6. See them all around the world, they do follow the Thai team and the professional cheerleaders there. They make a great, great sight, and obviously, they create a good atmosphere in the auditorium up in the stands. Outside, 7 8.
Well, Saudi missed that one. Eight all. They are so positive, aren't they? I really like the style that they play. The ties are ambition is to get to the Olympics next year in London. And that's a great block. Encouraged by the crazy guys in the background there. Unlucky off the hands there of uh, Nutsara Topkom, but through the block was Sakoda. I know. Oh dear. Didn't get actually over the top of that at all. Well, she got over the top of it, but unfortunately for Thailand, there was a big unit in the way. It's called Sauri Kamura. Twelve nine, and suddenly from a a position of advantage, the ties have given up four points in a row, so a timeout called by the Thai coach, Ratchata Klinkai. Difficult to describe how big these guys are in Japan. They are big heroes throughout the country. Oh, good touch, Anuma. Tinkau. Wow, that was a little bit unfortunate for Tinkau. She should have got that ball in play. Wasn't struck with any venom. This might be, though. Kimura. It's a fantastic block, Araki celebrates, and that's 14-10. Sauri <laughs> in the background going crazy too. Japan can take a five-point lead here. They do. Sakoda. I haven't seen much of her before, but she has really impressed me in this uh, tournament. Into the fourth week of the tournament, of course. Strong wrist from Iraqi. Time out, Japan in the lead by six points.
that's interesting. We saw the Thai assistant coach taking that talk. And uh, Kiatapong just standing back and watching and listening. Sixteen ten Japan. Well, that was not very clever, was it? And that is what you're going to get from Kano if you put an easy ball like that back. No resistance there from the ties. Single block, no way. 17-10. Saudi fights it. Ooh, it was... It was okay for distance, but not okay for accuracy on the width. 11-17. Well, when you've got bodies everywhere on the floor, you're going to have problems, aren't you? Bit unfortunate that for Thailand, but 18-11. Lovely reverse. Great reverse setting. And a very good Anuma down the line. Chai Sri, not seen her before. She's got the duty of serving. Too good. That roll around the setter, Ai Yamamoto will do this day after day. Not much you can do about blocking. You hope it's going to be inaccurate, but Yamamoto is so good. She's done that drill after drill. How to play off the block, it's 13.90. Oh dear. Uh, Nutsarad certainly did really put Ampun off there. She went for it. She went for it and then it was too late. 2013. Good intercept by Kano. And a good finish there by Saori. Japan getting into their stride here now and a timeout called by Thailand. It was very competitive, up to 10 points, and then it's been all Japan. Well, the Japanese experience beginning to tell here. Iwasaka comes on, she's number 10. Got a spike height of over three meters. That's the problem when you come on cold, you've been on the bench for a while. Sakoda back on now. It's 14 21. That's a good reverse, and Ayamamoto once again 
She never lets you down coming around the, the set like that. Takashita comes off for a very short time, I can tell you. She'll be back on very soon. 22-14. Yamamoto at the line. Sorry. The ties have not been competitive for the last 10 or 12 points. They've just been sitting back, relying on their defense. That's not good enough. They've got to attack Lynette as well. Like that. But the block is too good. It's set point to Japan. First set, 24-14. And that is the perfect block, the perfect way to end a very impressive first set for Japan. It was very competitive in the early stages, but then they got hold of it and their experience came through. 25-14 in the first set then, in this fifth and sixth placing here in Macau. Macau East Asian Games Dome decked out with the new branding image of the FIVB. And there, decked out in some outrageous costumes are the supporters of the Thai team. I know one of them called it's called Dodo. And he's not exactly it's stick disease, not uh, He's not afraid to come forward and shout to the rooftops. It's good stuff, though. It's really entertaining. Thailand have got a big, big uphill battle here. Japan in control. 1-0 in the set. Here's the second. Oh, wow. I thought that was in, but it wasn't touched, was it? No. It's Thailand at 1-0. Sangri does well. Sakoda. It was not blocked. It came off the top of the tape of the net. 
So that is the fourth hit. It means it's one all. Yeah. It's in. Thailand at 2-1. They started the first set very well. Malika. Malika Tan Tantong. It's in. That was on the line. Manabe is saying no. Well, Takashita has been warned there by Karen the whole Chova. Just a little too much dissent there. Manabe thought it was out. I could see it was on the line. 4-1, Thailand. It's a tough job being a referee. That was out off the block, it's 2-4. Michael Cano. Three, four. Yamamoto is being a very impressive player here. That was a great uh, reverse pass again. In the perfect position to force the error. Four. One of the great deficiency of the Thai team, and the coach has said it many times, you need to have one, if not two, really big, tall players on the flanks at the posts to take advantage. They haven't got them. It'll tip over the top there by Tinkal. Takashita. See, she looks diminutive. She's only got a spike height of 280. A block height of 270. Hi, Yamamoto. Time and time again, she will come and fix that post. 7-5 Japan, this is the time they started really, really moving ahead. Last set. Down the middle, sorry. She's missed it. Or was it touched? It was. They are fanatically supported in Japan, that national team. A bit of shoulder ice and massage there for uh, Anuma. Will it be a step too far for 
in Thailand to take on the might of China and beat them and then come up against a very impressive Japanese team and beat them. It's looking a step too far. So Numa is off. Sakoda up the line, 8-5. Off the antenna, right in front of Karin. Timeout called by Thailand. They're in a little bit of trouble here. They were very competitive. Up to five. And then again, they just let it drift. Red, white, and blue. Dodo right in the centre. He wears a different costume every day. 9-5. And now, still in play. I. <laughs> Great fight for the ball there. Still in. Now out. 10-5. Milovan was working hard to keep that in. Sakoda again. Good defense from Japan. Saori gets it over. Great defense from Japan, from Sakoda. Oh, that's brilliant down the middle from Vilaban. Thailand pick up the point there, they deserve it, but that was some sensational defensive diving, you have to say, from Sakoda. 6-10. There she comes again, absolutely flying for that. That was a strategy, it was a plan to perfection. Great work. Araki. Oh, 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 super Vilava. Saudi and Iraqi tried to get there. They were not quick enough. 7-11. Kimura put big angle on that. Another huge hit. And another one, it's tipped out. 8-11. Oh dear, Rocky, I've never seen her do that before. Totally mistimed. It's a timeout by Japan. Thailand really, really fighting hard here in the second set.
the drums, the bells, the whistles, tambourines of Thailand support. Still there. Saul is attempt is blocked. Sakana makes it. She's been very successful but from that back line. 12 9. Ah, Yamamoto. It's out. Thailand finding a lot more aggression at the net now. So. Thirteen ten, she will go to the line. She came from a long way back, that's why the uh, defense was late. Wow, that was weak. You fight hard and then you give it away like that. Fourteen ten. Super service. Pia not the libero was nowhere near it. touch so she had to play it great work Sakoda gets it back oh Thailand point 11 15 Ampon Hayafa Sixteen eleven. Sauri loves to play those shots. We're going to get a timeout here. Wasaka 16-11. Still there. Great work by Sakoda. And then it's blocked down. Vilavan. Well, 16.
It's out. 17-12. And just as in the first set, Japan start to exert the pressure and their authority. And 17-12, it will be tough here for Thailand. Nakamichi comes on for the first time. I've seen her before. She will take over from Takashita at the moment as the setter. How to play off the block by uh, Yamaguchi. Bilalan. Good reverse. Oh, fantastic block. That really was good from Yamamoto. What's the timing here? She was hanging there in the air, stopping that angled cross court. Eighteen thirty. Again, it's court craft, isn't it? Very clever. Rushes the net, watches the space, the gaps, and delivers. 14 18. Sakoga. Sauri. Oh. Out of play, it's 1914. You probably didn't see how subtle that play was from Saudi. She caused all kinds of problems with that uh, spin spike. This time it was up, Portland the got there. Saudi was a bit late. 15-19. Sakoga, it's still there. Wow. Ha ha, Saori Kamoga delivers the coup de gras. set up, wasn't it? Thailand's Thailand. timeout, 20 points to 15. The Japanese clear favourites here, justifying that position. I can hear Nippon Nippon all around me on this side. There's quite a lot of Thai supporters on the other side of the stadium. Japan are in the lead by 2050. Through the block again. This time it was Chai Sri. Chai Sri. Tapa Papo. Tough to say. Oh, lovely touch. Great work, Iwasaka. Just kissed the ball a little there, didn't she? Over the top of the defence, 
That's long from Saudi. Just like Kamura, I thought that was too long, but it was a really good service. 18-21. Thailand still holds some hope in this second set. But it is Thailand in service. Great work through the middle. She's not the tallest player by any stretch, Vila Van Apinyapong, but she's got the power and she's got the timing and the jump there. She's only got a spike height of 294. 19-21. Great work from Sakoda, she'll be happy with that. It brings Ai Yamamoto back on court. Again, it's all about getting that height, not just in attack, but if they had a couple more centimeters in the defensive block as well, makes such a difference to this Thai team. 22-19. Oh, it was tipped, and it is Thailand's point. It's interesting the way that the players try to dupe the, uh, the referees celebrating them. They knew that they touched that. Dynamic play there from Tinkau. This is interesting, 21-22. Reversed and out, 22 all. Wow. Listen to the crowd. And I tell you, Macau are supporting Thailand. It's still up. No, no, no. It was not given. Karen says that was not delivered. It's a tough call, isn't it? But Karen Zahochova, the referee, says. It's Thailand's point. They've got it 23 22. And Zakoda rescues the situation for Japan. 23 all. A great Asian battle, this. The pretenders, Thailand. The world. Bronze medalists last year, Japan, 24-23. <laughs> Yamamoto so often comes to the rescue. Set point, Japan, it's Sakoda. Japan can win it right here. They have. Another big play, another reverse on the set. So successful that ploy throughout 
25-23. Thailand was so close, they had a lead of 23-22. Japan pick up the final three points of that set. They lead by two sets to love. East Asian Games Dome here in Macau. Great setting, super atmosphere. Fifth and sixth place being challenged at the moment. Thailand versus Japan. Japan in the lead by two, zero in sets. They were much, much closer. It was a much tighter affair, that second set. But Japan, the favorites, certainly have just that little bit of extra at the net. They've got more height. They've got more experience. And a determined Thailand is just fractionally falling short. Thailand on the right of screen. So Richard Jelic, the assistant referee, saying everything's ready. And we have Karin Saochova who get us underway. Sauri with the serve. Pile of Japanese bodies there at the net. 1 0 Thailand. It's out, it's 1 0. It's a long way back, and that is Japan's point. It's very tough to make an impression when you've got two good block sets. Have a look how far back that set was. It's not great. Two one. That's better. That's absolutely where it should be. Malika Kantong says thanks a lot. Kano cannot uh, stop it. Score. Out of play. Um, Sakoda was asking for the touch. She didn't get it. It's Thailand 3-2. Ai Yamamoto, just a little touch over the top there. Normally, she really gives it a full-blooded belt, but on this occasion, it was short, and it still got through the defense. It's 3 all.
That's great work on this occasion by Tinkau. They are very competitive at the net now, our Thailand. How to keep the pressure on? That's a little float serve. From deep. Watch out for Sakoda, but that is a great, great block there by Blobchip Tinkau. 5-3. Oh dear. Got to get it into play. 4-5. You know, the more I see of Sauri Sakoda, the more impressed I am. There she is. She is definitely Sauri number two, isn't she? The Sauri Kimura. Oh, great touch. They have got to get these points through guile and through clever plays and clever ploys. Flat, set, nicely played. Thailand at 6-4 in the third. It's out, it's 5-6. She's had a really good match as Yamamoto. It's in, it's point, it's 7-5. Sukmak takes the service. Kenora blasts one into the block. Six, seven. Well, there's some confusion there. Timeout was common. In fact, I don't quite know here, but. Uh, Ratchata Klinkai has called. In fact, he slipped, I think, and uh, there was all kinds of distraction there. But Thailand have the point at 8 6. It's a technical timeout here. It's funny how Thailand have been so competitive during the first half of the set. And they then just lose their way a little bit. Let's see if they can keep the pressure on here. It's in, that's a great hit. Perfect placement. 7-8. Sauri Kamura. And Pawn finds it. It's a good setting there. Sukmak is still there. She's the setter. It's short at the net, it's 8-9. Well, whenever I see these Japanese girls, I always think back to that extraordinary second set in the World Championships against Brazil. 
They fought tooth and nail. 35-33, one set. Japan have leveled things at 9 all. There was a foul on the play. The setter went back into the net. Hirosaka gets a good serve in. You know, Sawi, she has an all-round game. But look at this, she just played it below the height of the block. They expected to have a full-blooded blast. What they got was a half-power, brilliantly placed. Good service. Once again, the same pattern emerges, 11-9 in favour of Japan. Well, the Thai support still there, the ding, the dongs, the bumps and the drums, it's all there, but uh, Japan again edging into the lead. With another chance here from Sakoda, she doesn't make it, maybe it'll come to Saori. Aha, out of play. 12-9, it was Michael Kano. Saka, good serve. Power again, quite extraordinary. Vilavan is able to get an amazing amount of angle on that, considering she's such a, well, relatively short player. 174. In the context of volleyball, in the world of volleyball, that is short. Eight centimeters, almost a foot in old in old measurement, below the height of Gamaba. Japan have taken the first two sets. The second one more competitive. This one equally competitive, but 13-11 they lead. That is the power that I talked about. Unbelievable. Vilavan, a pit yapon. Very impressive, isn't it? She will go to the line at 12.13. She has got an extraordinary timing. Wow, you just have to say that is brilliant. 30. Do you know, I saw Kimura look back and say to the, uh, well, she didn't say it, but looked at the umpire, looked at the referee, and thought that she had been penalised there. Japan, 16-14, it is a technical timeout. And now, Brad Chattakring Kang has taken over.
ูอยู่ด้านหน้าเล่นแบบผสมให้ปูผสมดึงกิ๊บเอาไว้ให้กิ๊บจัดได้อยู่ครับแต่เอาไว้Well, they certainly enjoyed themselves. It's all smiles, it's all colour, it's all rhythm and excitement. The land of smiles, it really is, Thailand. Sixteen fourteen. Japan in the lead by two. Again, it's out of play, and it's that huge hit from Vila Van Apinyapong. Well, I know there are quite a number of Italians. Of course, Italy has some of the most enthusiastic volleyball players in the world. They certainly have the most more women play volleyball in Italy than any other place. But there is talk of some contracts being offered to a couple of these Thai teams to play in the Italian league, and I'm not surprised. Villavan, at the age of 27, could certainly find a place. Chai Sri is in. Ah, oh, it was tough. Japan have the point at 17-16. That looked as if it might have gone long too. Great block. Wow. Iwasaka celebrates that one. Yeah. 18-16. Takashita at the line. <laughs> Another big, big block from Iwasaka. Thailand have a timeout. And again, it's the business end of the set that they're struggling with. They're very competitive up until the last moment. Iwasaka with a couple of big blocks put uh, Japan in a good position here at 1960. Well, if you're wondering what's coming up after this, we've got uh, Brazil versus Russia later on, and then the final match of the day. Serbia versus USA, they are the semi-finals of the 2011 version of the World Grand Prix. Two more matches to come. Takashita with the serve, 1916. It's out, 17-19. Chai Sri. Sari Kamula finds her favorite place on the court, at the net, swinging arms. Another good set from Takashita. 2017. Just a little hop, a skip, and there we go, it's in. How to play? Was it touched? No, it's 21 17. It's a quite a dainty serve approach. That's the little skip, and here we go. Again. Oh, yeah. Great work there from Sakoda. Anuma Sitirak had a chance to bury that. She didn't take it. She then tried to dig one over the top, but it was easily picked up. It's 22 17.
just a little light. A little light at the end of the tunnel here as I see Rajatan Rick Kai gets to his feet, issuing orders, 18-22. Sakoda makes it 23-18. Iwasaka has the duty to try and get Japan home here. 23-18. It's out. Last chance salute here for Thailand, you have to think. Out again. It was, I thought it was tipped, but it wasn't. It's 2023. Solid serve from Malika. The last time she came to the net, she tried that. And Japan have called a timeout. But Nabe obviously a little bit worried. They're getting too close. 21 23. performance by the ties no doubt at all they have been worth their place in this fifth sixth shootout Japan just keep it in through Takashita and I Yamamoto misses wow excitement as we see Malika Kanton go to the line again 22-23. Oh, fantastic block. Wow. I'm not surprised Japan have called another timeout. 23 all in the third. Well, you can hear Thailand, Nippon, Thailand, Nippon. I would say that the support is evenly divided here inside this Macau East Asian Games Dome. It's very enthusiastic. There's a huge amount of fervor behind the support. The passion is there around the stadium. The passion is also on the court. It's 23 all. And that is a big point for Japan. A huge point. It's that simple runaround by Ayanomoto. And after all the effort of Thailand, it could all come to naught right here. This is for the fifth place at the 2011 World Grand Prix. It's match point Japan. And the setter, Yoshi Takashita, will serve. And that is the match. Fabulous lock defense ultimately wins it. Japan take it by three sets to zero. A very competitive Thailand. They seem to get better and better. Realistically, 
if they had beaten Japan as well as China, they would have been on cloud nine. As it is, it was a very close battle. But the experience of Japan and, of course, their position as the bronze medalist in the world championship last year gives them a really, really good position as fifth place in this World Grand Prix. We say farewell to Japan, to Thailand, and we say hello on the next match. The next encounter is a big one because it's the semi-finals, Brazil versus Russia. I hope you can join me for that one. And I also hope my voice holds out. In the meantime, let's take a break and come back soon.